The Women's Legacy Fund was started in 2003 by a wonderful group of women board members of the Community Foundation. We asked 100 women as legacy leaders to give $1,000 each. We've been together quite a while, 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> we had this great group of women board members, and we were all interested because we found out that other community foundations have women's legacy groups, and so we were on it. People realized, women realized, that there was a need, and um, we had our hundred before we do it. Right, yeah. Yeah. they responded right excited. away. Right. We thought it might take two, three years, and we had it in three months. Yeah, <laughs> and the other thing that was very obvious to me when we had our luncheon, I remember that luncheon we outgrew in a hotel and had to move to the Madonna Center. And 500 women, I, it blew my <laughs> mind. It was very obvious that there was a connection with right. women in the fun. Friends will say to me, I'm a member of the Legacy League. They, they sort of identify with the fun, nice. which I think is cool. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not just, I gave some money, but. I'm part of it. Yeah. That's a great thing about the, the grants that we give also is that we're, we're giving them to women and girls. But those women go home to their families and these girls go home to their brothers and all of those teachings continue mm -hmm. throughout and it's not just the exact person that got the grant. Yes, yeah. it's, it's, it's not just fundraising but who is being touched by the funds that we through the efforts of all donors, our advisory committee, and the annual Women's Legacy Fund Luncheon, the fund has continued to grow. And now, 20 years on, the endowment has grown from the initial $100,000 to approximately $2 million and has given over $600,000 in grants. If you can touch the lives of women and girls, you can also touch the lives of men, boys, and the entire community. And so having the Women's Legacy Fund as part of the Community Foundation family has been so important to be able to improve our community. We're really looking forward to the many years we have ahead of us of improving lives across the county. Every four to five years, the Women's Legacy Fund updates the What Women Need report, which identifies areas of greatest need in our community, such as education, mental health, financial independence, childcare, safety, and reproductive health. Inspired by the results of the report, local organizations create new programs and expand existing ones in order to meet these needs. The program I run is Smart Girls, and I have the ages uh, from 8 to 10, and we talk a lot about relationships with adults and peers, how to manage and have proper communication and have a really good relationship with people we love and care for. My main goal for the girls is to have confidence within themselves and be brave. For me, when I was a child, it was definitely hard not having the support I needed. Throughout those experiences, it definitely helped me become that brave and confident girl. But I want to provide that for the girls so they don't have to go to the hurt and just feel strong within themselves and not let anything bring them down. The two programs that the Women's Legacy so graciously fund are Camino Scholars and Celebre. Camino Scholars is our education program. We serve over 400 students at our on-site after-school programs at our affordable housing properties. College Club, we work with students to not only help them get to college, but help them successfully get through college, oftentimes debt-free. With Celebre, we work very closely with young first-generation Latinas and also with their parents to overcome cultural and societal barriers that get in the way of achieving their higher education goal. The promotores are community leaders, and we have promotores all over San Luis Obispo County. They provide resources to the Latino community, specifically to the ones who live in some rural areas. And because of the funds that we received from Women's Legacy, we were able to provide a total of 16 classes on financial literacy. We are very grateful for those classes because thanks to those classes, a lot of families from the community were able to open their own saving accounts and also they learn on how to create their own budgets. Thanks to the generosity of our community, we are able to support and make these programs possible. I give because the older I get, the more particular I am about giving a donation. I want to know that donation is making a local impact. 
We give because we're raising three sons who we want to value women and girls. We give because bettering the lives of women and girls benefits our community as a whole. I know by becoming a legacy leader that I'm part of something bigger. The more that we contribute, the greater impact we have. Find out how you can be a legacy leader today.